Gentlelady is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As a nurse for over 40 years, I've spent my entire career protecting life. And those who need the greatest protection are those who have the least voice. That is children born and unborn. Now, as a member of Congress, I will continue to fight for the rights of the unborn through this legislation as we have here today. And today, I am here as a sponsor of this resolution to ensure that no federal funds are used for either the promotion or the performance of abortions. Now, there are people around who will want to lead you to believe that this bill is about Republicans wanting to deny women access to preventive care. But they are using scare tactics and their lies are distracting you from the real facts. As a matter of fact, Title X funds, which fund these types of preventive care for women, will continue to fund those organizations and agencies that provide preventive care, but do not provide either the promotion or abortion services. What my colleagues and I are here today is standing up and saying we do not want to support federal funding of any organization, any organization, that promotes or performs abortions. Now, there is an urgent need to stop taxpayer dollars from funding abortions, and the Republican majority in the House has already made clear our commitment to ending the funding for Planned Parenthood, which is, by the way, America's largest abortion provider. Now, the Senate has ducked this legislation and this important discussion for this legislation for too long, and it's time that the senators debate this in the open, as we have here in the House in H.R. 1, and take a vote to end taxpayer funding of Planned Parenthood. I yield back my time.